Hello everyone and I hope you're all doing very well. So you guys have asked for videos explaining, showing how to evade SAMs. So first of all there's radar SAMs, we've already done three videos of that now so that's done. Next we're mo moving on to IR guarded SAMs which are annoyingly a lot, a lot harder. So we're going to cover this from as many possible angles as we can so we can try and get everything covered. First of all is airframe types. When we come to do the examples we're going to do everything in a fast jet and then a medium speed jet and then a slow cast type jet. Next we're going to spit evading IR guided SAMs into two areas active evasion and reactive evasion. We're going to classify active evasion we're going to classify active evasion as attacking a known location for objective of ground attack. So what I'm saying here is, for instance, we're attacking a location where we know IR SAMs are going to be or probably going to be like a base, a fuel dump, uh, you know, whatever, a known an airfield, a known, a known position. And then we'll look at reactive. Reactive is where you're just flying along, doing something completely different, whatever your task is, CAS, search, whatever. And all of a sudden you spot an, S an IR SAM that's been shot from the trees or from somewhere, from some buildings, and you've just got to emergency evade. So there's going to be two completely different methods. So first of all, we'll look at the active method of evasion. So we are going to attack a base where we know or we're pretty sure IR SAMs are going to be. So first thing, the obvious stuff have a suitable payload. In fact, before we even get to here, if we have the ability to stand off this is really obvious stuff, but stand off and fire at this base with Mavericks, with JDAMs, with laser guided bombs, whatever, then obviously we're going to do that. So we don't even present ourselves as a target to the IR SAMs. But if for whatever reason we have to go in close with dumb bombs, with guns, with rockets, then we're going to follow these steps. So first of all, have a suitable payload. So if you're going with your A A10 into an AO where we know there's going to be dodging of IR SAMs needed, Ensure that you're not completely loaded out with a full payload because you'll never survive it. If you're going in with your Harrier, make sure you're not loaded up with 12 dumb bombs. You'll never survive it. If you're going in a fast jet, your Hornet, your Flanker, whatever, don't be loaded out with fuel tanks and bombs because, again, it just won't be possible. So that's the first thing and it's a very important point. In fact, all of these points, I've been doing lots of experimenting with this, and all of these points are as important as each other. It's one of these cases where this is a difficult thing to do, and you have to do every one of these points, and you have to do them perfectly to be able to survive IR SAMs. And remember, it's not just the first launch that we're trying to survive, it's subsequent war launches and completing our mission. So if we miss any of these out because we get lazy or whatever, we get forgetful, then we're probably going to die. So step one, ingress at max velocity in 5 to 10 degree dive. So let's pick this apart. Max velocity. So by that, I don't mean the physical max velocity of the jet. If you're in an F-15, it doesn't mean 950 knots. That's simply not feasible because it would take, you know, 50 miles to get up that speed. But what I'm saying is the max realistic velocity that you can get. So, well, what I'm really saying is here, don't tip into the target at, five, uh, at half a mile. Don't tip into the target at one mile. You've got to go cold first get your distance of five six miles so that you can put your afterburners on you put your max power on in your a10 and get as fast as you possibly can realistically that's what i'm getting at here and you have to do that to survive this kind of thing if you go in at 300 knots 350 in a fast jet you can't survive it next is a five to ten degree dive that's also fairly important i found if you go in below a five degree dive you lose your situational awareness in the ground clutter and you can't see the missiles quick enough so that works out worse also if you go in above 10 degrees although it's going to give you a lot better kin uh, energy kinetic energy retention and you can get a better view the problem is because you're going to be so much higher then the missiles have so much longer range that it takes the initiative away from you and actually makes it harder so 5 to 10 in all types of jets seems to be best and the key word I used there was initiative active evasion of IR SAMs is all about taking the initiative and having the initiative on our side and doing everything we can to take the initiative away from the hostile. So I know what you smart guys are thinking now. You're going to think, well, if we want the initiative, then what we should just do is go in at 15 feet like you told us to do with the radar SAMs. And that is a great idea and probably would work in reality, maybe. But whatever reason, it doesn't work in D DCS. If you go really low, 
IL SAMs will still launch at you. So 5 to 10 degrees is a stipulation. And uh, needless to say, you're going to be going in at high power as well because you want to get as much, again, max velocity as we can. Next, upon a SAM launch, well, we're going to get launched on in this example. It's going to happen. And really what you want to be doing is... Again, we're taking the initiative. We want to control the fight as much as possible. So we actually want to bring on those SAM launches at a time that best suits us so that we can control the fight. So what you'll see when I'm doing this in the various aircraft is at some point I'm trying to make myself as ready, readily available and as easy target as possible to start bringing those SAM launches out when I'm ready to defend them. And when that first SAM launch comes out, now the benefit of having these IR SAMs, all of them that I think I know of, of these IR guided SAMs, are smoked missiles. And that's great because we can see them. If they weren't smoked, well, there's no point talking about this because you wouldn't be able to dodge them. You have to dodge these missiles visually. So the first thing you do when you see that launch is you're going to turn your throttles from afterburner or max power down to idle. Um, now, you don't do it straight away. The timing is key. If you've seen my video on how to evade air-to-air -air IR guided SAMs, you don't do all this as soon as you see the missile. You wait for the right time. There's a certain time that you have to do this to be able to evade the missile. And I can't really explain that in seconds or milliseconds. It's something you just have to get a feel for. And so I'm just going to have to show you doing it and you just have to copy me, basically. So. It, the, the timing depends on the distance the missile has been fired at, how fast the missile is travelling, how high you are, etc. Remember, this takes about, depending on your jet, it takes about two seconds to go from max power to idle. Uh, the reason we're doing this, by the way, uh, we're going to idle throttle, is because uh, obviously we make ourselves a less hot target. We get our engines cold. Uh, and all of this as well, we're heading directly for the missile, like of evading, if possible, an IR air to air missile. You want to head towards the missile to shield your engine as much as possible. Uh, so as soon as your uh, hand hits the idle throttle, then the engine will start throttling. And at the correct time, you're going to do a low radius barrel roll. Low radius is key here. If we do high radius barrel roll, then we're going to bleed too much energy. Our energy retention gets too low. And as soon as that energy, kinetic energy is lowered, lowered in this active attack then we're screwed we're pretty much dead it's key to keep as fast as possible at all points hence low radius barrel roll as you'll see hence not much aft stick next flares so as soon as we've uh, our hand is in the idle throttle and we start our barrel roll flares have to come out continuous flares either a program or singles i prefer singles because i'm an old school kind of guy and you can't be conservative with this you have to be liberal with this to survive it you have to put lots of flares out during an active or any attack of our guided sams that's just something you have to do if you've got a jet where you haven't got many flares like an f5 or uh, an a10 that hasn't got many flares left don't be there don't do the attack go home instead you won't be able to do this without lots of flares simple as that we have to completely saturate the area of sky that we are in with 5,000 degree flares, or however hot they are, uh, to fool those missile seeker heads. Three, once that missile is defeated, if we've got the chance, power back on. Any chance we can on the ingress to put our power back on to regain as much kinetic energy as possible, then do it. You probably won't get the chance to go up to full power, but just get some power on. And that goes through the whole attack in terms of ingress. On subsequent launches, my apologies if that's spelt subsequent, it is, I did spell it wrong, wrong whoops. Uh, on subsequent launches, repeat steps two and three. So it is very unlikely that the man pad or whatever is going to fire just one missile and then give up. He's going to take you down. And that means as soon as he's fired one, a couple of seconds later, he's going to reload and he's going to fire his next shot. Hence why this one is so important to get back on power if possible. Um, and if it happens, and it will happen, then just repeat, turn towards the missile and repeat steps two and three as many times as you have to on your ingress. So we've dodged our two, three, four, five, six or whatever missiles and we've made it to the target. So once over the target or very nearly over the target, deliver our ordnance, our bombs, our rockets or guns, bracket if possible. If possible is the most important part here. We have to, and this is an important one, we have to avoid target fixation target fixation anywhere near IR sounds is pretty much certain death so we have to prioritize staying alive over delivering ordnance so what we're going to do is we're going to get our ccp uh, ccip bomb line up and we're going to hover it over whatever the target is the fuel dump and we're going to get ready to drop those bombs but we're also going to be scanning left with our eyes to make sure another sam doesn't come out if another sam comes out 
or if we're slightly off target, we're feeling rushed or something, then we don't drop the bombs. We concentrate on surviving and uh, staying alive and, and keeping our airframe up. Uh, the, the idea is we can always live to fight another day. So if we get a chance to drop our bombs, do our guns, great. If not, prioritize the dodging, staying alive and energy retention. Six, we've got six A and six B because it starts to differ here between the different airframe types. So all the parts uh, star to part five is the same through all airframe types. It starts to differ here. So if you've got a fast jet or a medium speed jet, uh, this is once we've passed over the top of the base and we're on our way out. Now uh, this bit's very important. Cut throttle if you're in a fast or medium. Cut throttle and glide. Cut throttles and glide out of the AO as low as possible, constantly flaring and in a straight line. Now what it's tempting to it's going to be tempting once you get over that AO to turn because so, you naturally want to be looking at those SAM sites uh, because the only way you can really dodge them is by looking for those uh, SAM sites. But I've tested this thoroughly and if you get over the SAM site, if you're egress, if you start turning, you just tend to make things worse. You concentrate too much on the SAMs and you don't concentrate on just getting out as fast as possible. The best survival rate I've had, and I've had 100% survival rate so far with this method, is just to cut throttles, don't look back, just believe in God, glide out, and gliding out, this is why our energy retention is so important. If you're down to 300 knots by now, you're dead. You had to have done these, these, this here correctly um, to be at 450, 500 knots at this point. That's why the dive is so important, that's why the max velocity is so important. So cut throttles, glide out in a straight line as low as you can, flaring constantly and i don't mean flare 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 i mean flare 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 saturating everything behind you with uh the 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 burning flares the reason we're going in a straight line is because you can't turn when you've got when you're um off throttles you'll just bleed your energy and you'll slow down so straight line hide in your flares with no with as little um heat being generated by your engine as possible and that just works out to be the safe way, safest way to get out of an AO. As soon as you can, hide behind something. Hide behind a house, hide behind trees, hide behind something. Now, the low bit doesn't really help you in terms of uh, the missile evasion. The only reason we're going low is energy retention. And it also gives you a better chance of, you know, terrain blocking if there's a hill or a house or something to hide behind. So that's what we're going to do. That's going to feel very unnatural because you just have to put your faith in God as such. You can't, you know, you can't do anything about it. Uh, but that just works out best. 6B, if you're in a slow jet, an A10, an SU-25, whatever, um, then you can't do that because your energy retention is going to be so bad in a plane like this. Your speed is going to be so low. However, however well you're flying, you're not going to be above 300 knots or maybe even 250 knots. So you have to go out with some throttle. Certainly not max throttle. Don't go max throttle because your engines will be too hot even in A10. Go out 30, 40, 50% throttle in your A10. Fly out. Uh, otherwise, the same. Fly out low in a straight line, flaring constantly. And again, you can't be conservative. You've got to be uh, liberal about this. And um, when you escape and turn around, if you find you're low in flares, don't go in. It's someone else's job at that point. Okay, important. Uh, seven. Um, what we've done when we, when we've when we finish this, we're going to go back in for our recommit, and we're going to keep going, being back in until we've either out of flares, out of bombs, or we've done our mission, because we are actively attacking this site. Important. Extend cold for several miles. It's going to be tempting just to turn straight back in after one two miles. Uh, you will die because of this. I have no doubt about it. You've got to get back up to your four, five, six hundred knots. Got to get your energy and your five to ten degree dive in. So go out for several miles. Uh, extend, cold, then rise up, burners on, and then recommit. Very important. And after that, back to step one, rinse and repeat. Next, reactive. So this is if you're doing a completely separate mission, you don't know there's IR SAMs there, and all of a sudden an IR SAM, I'm sure you've all done it on public servers or whatever, you just see a trail, you've got no RWR warning, so you know it's an IR missile. Uh, well, it could be an optical guided missile, but that's another story. Uh, assuming it's an IR missile, it'll just uh, you'll just see a smoke trail come up from the jungle and you're in a world of pain. I've been in this position so many times. Now, unfortunately, in this position, you're rarely going to be in optimum config. So here, up here, we're active. We have the initiative. We have our, optimum, we have our optimum config. We're in our dive. We're at our max velocity. Bundles of kinetic energy to trade in. Great. 
Here, we're probably not because we're probably going to be looking for a stranded pilot or whatever, just cruising. We're not going to be ready for the fight. So immediately, the SAM has the initiative. And unfortunately, that means your chances of survival are going to be much lower than here. That's just how it is. You've lost the initiative, but you've got to do the best you can. So the first thing is, obviously, you've got to see that missile. If you don't see it, then, well, you're dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. So you see that missile. Um, then the first thing we do is cut throttles to idle. We've got to make ourselves as cold as possible. Uh, next, we're going to turn down and away. Now, this is a bit controversial. As we all know, the easiest way to defeat a IR-guided seeker head of a SAM is to turn into it to shield your, uh, your your engines. But but as it turns out, the long-term tactical use of turning into a SAM actually works out worse for you. So the short term, you can beat that first SAM easier. Long term, it puts you over the AO of that SAM and it's just going to shoot at you again and again until you're dead. The best chances of overall survival are turning down and away from the SAM in, with the intention of just getting away from it, putting as much distance as you can. So engines off, turn away, turn down and unfortunately you probably are going to stall your jet because you're just not ready for this. You haven't got the speed in the jet but that's so be it. Suck it up. Use gravity. That's why we're turning down. And bucket loads of flares, bucket loads can't be conservative, can't put 5 out, can't put 10 out, got to put 20 or 30 or 40 out. Um, once we've beaten that first SAM, we're going to be looking for it obviously, then we're just going to glide to safety. Keep your engines off, Ho assuming that we've got uh, enough speed and enough height um, to just glide you know, half a mile away from the SAM, getting low, heading away from it constantly. A bit like our egress, if you like, from our active attack. And we're going to be constantly flaring. Let's not be conservative and get hit on the way out. It's just stupid. When we consider that we're safe, we've beaten the first one or two missiles. And we consider it does no longer has line of sight on us. Then throttle up and just get out of there and just stay away from that thing. And that's it. That's all the theory. So what we're going to do now is the examples. We're going to go and get in our various jet types. Go through the different steps and see how we get on. Okay, we're in game now. So we've got our jets here about four or five miles away. Here's the target. It's an X on the ground so we can see it. We've got a uh, Stinger man pad. I think that's the, it's the American type of, um, you know, shoulder launched uh, doodah. What's it? IR guided Sam. Next, we've got here. I've just picked these at random. Um, a USAF. No, sorry. This is a Russian type. This is the SA-13 Streller. Uh, 70s question mark I'm not entirely sure when it was um, and it is IR guided and it has a more modern all aspect seeker head so I guess this is something that would be similar to um, uh, an R60 or a Sidewinder type missile on that note actually I need to redo my video I've got an hour long video uh, talking about the different Russian SAMs and I'd like to redo that video with a bit more research, a bit more knowledge, and maybe include the American Sams in. If anyone out there wants to help with that, would be much appreciated because um, it's just a bit out of my remit. I'm not, you know, I don't know about Sams, but I know a lot of you guys do. If you do want to help, that would be appreciated. Please contact me on the Discord. Um, we can talk about that. Right, we've got this guy here. Um, I'm pretty sure this guy is IR Seeker. Uh, I think he might be radar guided as well, but only for these. You see, he's got that cannon there. I think that's for the cannon. I think these, I'm pretty sure these are IR guided. I think they're Sidewinder variants or something similar. Stand to be corrected as ever. Uh, so we've got three uh, IR guided units here of different specifications. We're just going to pretend to bomb the middle of the cross or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay, let's save that and get on with it. Okay, we'll start with that. Uh, we've got our fast jet as an F-15, our slow jet as an A-10, and our medium jet is an AV-8B. So let's get in our fast jet. This is actually my first time flying today, so I might be a little bit rusty getting into it, but I should be okay. So, uh, right, have we got a flare button set up? We have. Have we got our controls on? There, we've got our controls at the bottom right. You can see the throttle and the stick and stir. Right. Uh, that's, there's the base. It's that cross. It's too close, and I'm too slow. So we want to stack everything in our favour. Let's turn around and um, go and get some necessary energy in the bird. Remember, we're taking the initiative here. And to survive it, we need to be absolutely maximum. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, in we go. I noted there's some buildings behind the base. And that's what we're going to use as our exit. So we're going to egress in a manner or ingress that allows our egress to be in those buildings so I'm just looking at those buildings now 
Right, so I'm going to climb too high on a 5 to, five to 10 degree dive. Here we go. Zoom in, look for the launch. Tease the foot, there's the first launch. Wait, 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 now. Flares, low radius barrel roll. Power on. Power off, low radius barrel roll. Flares. Power on. Power off. Maybe drop some bombs, maybe we don't. Watching for launches, watching for launches. Flares, glide. Got a lock on us, hide behind these buildings. Quick check back, and I think we're done. There is a missile, there is a missile. Flares out, flares out, flares out. And we're good. Power on. Right, don't fall into the trap of turning around too soon, being too keen. You will die every time if you do that. So. Now we want to turn in maximum 700 knots. Everything we can to put it in our favour. Not too high, not too high. In we go, let's do this. Right, let's tease the missiles out. Come on, fire at me, fire at me. There's the first launch. Wait, 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 wait now. Power on. Power off. Shit, I might have listened to the... Yep, we got it. Power on. Power off. Glide. Flares. Drop your bombs, guns, whatever you're going to do. Hide behind something. Flares. Like I said, have a nice small target. They're still firing at us. Power on. Get that bloody hell out of here. Uh, I'm not sure we've got any flares left, but we're going for another run anyway. For the lols. Aim at those two big buildings. Allergy, 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 allergy. Where is it gone? Where is it gone? Where is it gone? Okay. Let's push our luck a bit. Tease some more. Tease some more out of them. Come on! Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Miss our launch. Wait, 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 wait. Now. Power on. Power off. Have a shot of this guy in the middle. Flares. Power off. Glide. Hide. Okay. Pretty happy with that. I get the feeling the hostiles are all out of um, feeling they're all out of missiles. That's uh, right, F-15. So we followed all of those steps there absolutely perfectly. We're always, you know, going at 700 knots. We're doing the flares. We're doing the barrel rolls at the right time, as we were just about to hit the base. One thing I should mention: you don't want to be going on the ingress. Um, you want to be cutting to zero before we get to the base. That is a real danger area. That a man pack could just pop one out. 100 feet away from the base so we've got to be idle throttle before we get to the position where they all are to make sure those engines have got a chance to cool down before we get overhead uh, and that's it so that's everything done uh, next we're going to jump in the harrier i guess and do the same thing um so let's give that a go generator generator okay I'm just going to turn that sound down that is a bit much isn't it Okay, so um, we've got, annoyingly, this plane isn't as fast. Its energy retention is, but well, it probably might even naturally be a bit better, but it's just not as fast as the F-15. We can't get up to 700 knots. That's annoying. On the plus side, its engines are cooler, uh, so that is good. So I guess we'll see how it goes. i just got to quickly work out what is my flare button. Pull up, pull up. Uh, 
do we do this? Pull up, pull up. There we go. Right, uh, up, nozzles, up. off we go. Again, Roll out. way too Roll close. Out. We need to give ourselves maximum chance possible, so we're going to go out. Uh, let me put my controls on. Everything's going to be a bit slower in this, isn't it? Not far enough. Just gonna speed up time. Okay. Gonna turn in. Let's do this. <clears throat> I haven't actually bought any bombs. I can't even remember, remember how to bomb this thing, so I'll just pretend. <clears throat> Full power. Zoom in. Right, let's start teasing these little babies out. Max power. Make it as hot as possible. Tease them out on our terms. We want them to fire here. We don't want them to fire when we're right over the base. Check the flare button again. Yep. It's going to be a bit closer before he fires because we've got slightly cooler engines than Pegasus. They're not firing and I don't know why. Ah, I just think I, I uh, oops, my bad. I think I've actually forgotten to reset the scenario here. I think they're all out of ammo from last time. That's my bad. I'll just skip to the, um, I'll skip to that bit again. Okay, here we go. Full power. Get those engines as hot as possible. Tease some early missiles out if we can, on our terms. Come on, let's have a shot. Take a shot. Take a shot. Take a shot. Take a shot. Pull up. Pull up. Shut up. Pull up, pull up. Getting ready to come off the gas. Something's gonna happen. Something's up, gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. There, we've got a missile. Pull up, pull up. Roll out, roll out. Woohoo! You missed, sir. Pull up, pull up. Roll out, roll out. Okay, I think we done did that. Power on. Ah, oh, I've got my controls turned off. Dickhead. Sorry about that. Okay, again, quite easy because we could hide behind that building. Let's go for the hard way again. Uh, so, because we haven't got much speed in this jet, we've got to go maximum uh, speed here. Make sure we can optimise everything. go. Come on, afterburners. I don't think we've got a gun in here, have we? So, suck it up. Come on, power, 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 power. Give me more power. Full power. Engines as hot as possible. Tease some nice, easy, early missiles out. Look for the egress. Where are the trees? On the left there. Get ready. Fire, 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 come on, fire at me, fire at me, fire at me. Pull up, pull up. Come on, fire at me, fire at me. Pull up, pull up. Get ready to cut. Ready to cut. Pull up, pull up. There's the missile. Flares, pull out. flares, pull out. flares, 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 flares. Caution, caution. Lots of flares, lots of pull flares. Pull up, pull up. Hide behind roll these out. trees. Roll out. Pull Flare up, button is up. in a really awkward place. Strong get to flare. Pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up. Power on. Roll out, roll out. Pull up, pull up. Let's go around again. Still got some flares. I think we'll have a look at tack view after this. Um, let's 
so you can uh, see a bit better what I'm do actually doing. Right, let's uh, try our luck. We may run out of flares during this, but we'll see. Full power, engine's hot. Sip of tea. A little bit steeper here. Come on, fire, 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 fire. Pull up, pull up. Get ready to cut, just get ready to pull cut. Up, pull up. Pull up, pull up. Flares, barrel roll. Second barrel roll, just in case. Roll out, roll out. Flares, glide, nearest bit pull of up, cover. Pull up. Too high, we're too high. Pull up, pull up. Get down, more flares. More flares, roll more out, flares, roll more out. flares. Pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up. We're good. Woot woot. Flight of freedom. Right, let's reset the scenario, do it in the slow bird, and uh, quit. Okay, A10. Controls on. Check four. Uh, the flares, good. Okay. Get up to altitude. The speed of this thing is pretty slow anyway, so let's just get up to kind of here. Let's go around in a quick circle, got to speed up. It's probably pretty much topping out already, so we'll go with that. Right, uh, a little bit low, so let's just get a bit more attitude. Retrim. Right, high bypass ratio turbo fans on this. Much cooler engines. There's still a lot of work to be done to fool these guys. We're going to have a lot of... Um, it's a very draggy airframe, uh, this is, and a lot of heat is going to be generated by this airframe, hence it's low energy retention, high drag. Um, so, I'm not even convinced I want to be going full speed in this, but let's, let's see how it goes. Um, so what I'm getting at is I'm going to do a bit more aggressive barrel rolls in this case, a slightly higher radius to really flow off that missile. Right, so they're going to be firing soon, I imagine. So the colder we are, the less far they can fire at us. So who's going to fire? Who's going to fire? Come on, come on, someone fire. There we go. So a bit more high. Woo! That's another one. Power on. Altitude, altitude. Screw you. Got some AAA going out there. We're going to have to go power on, but we're going to shield the crap out of our plane with flares, and we do get hundreds of the bloody things in this. Should have got lower, but I think we're going to survive. Behind the house. Woot woot! Oh, I just heard two missiles bang behind me. Ho 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 ho! Good fun, eh? Gets the heart racing. Right, um, that was it. Um, the only thing I noticed there, look, still missile trails. Uh, was just how aggressively I had to barrel roll compared to the two fast planes. Much more aggression, had to bleed much more speed. Uh, just seems to be how you have to do it in the A-10, so so be it. Um, gonna get our energy back, this may take a while. This is a stripped down A-10 as well, so you can see why you just can't do this with um, 25 GBUs on. Right going to be really difficult this way. So really going to rely on those flares. Right, let's get some speed. They really pummeled me there. I think three or four missiles straight away. Okay, 300 odd knots. As good as we're going to get. 
Let's go. This guy always seems to... Where's my mouse? This guy always seems to fire first, followed by this guy, and the man pad seems to be closest... Slow, uh, slowest reaction time. Getting ready to... These engines take a while to spool down. The high bypass ratio turbo fan. So getting ready to spool down. Getting ready, getting ready, getting ready, getting ready. Getting ready. Come fire, 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 fire. Come fire. That's the bit I hate. No one's going to fire. No one's going to fire. I could, just in case. Yep, yep, yep. That was a good choice. Engine's off. Pull up. Pull up. Shut up. Might be able to get our bomb away here. Altitude, pow, pow, pow. Bomb altitude. away. Pull up. Pull up. Minor power on. Shielded by thousands of uh, flares. Ha <laughs> The mother got me. Okay. I seem to have survived that one. Not enough flares, I guess. I think we're out of the AO now. Let's just have a look at our plane. Right, I think we uh, just about survived that. Okay, I think we're out of luck now. I don't think I'd better push that any further. In fact, what the hell? Let's go for another run. It's the worst that can happen. Well, we get shot down, I suppose, but... Yeah, it's the egress. The egress is the tough thing, and very difficult. Right, let's try and survive another one, shall we? For max power. Uh, the only saving grace of this thing is that we've got um, uh, 320 flares or something stupid, and we're never going to run out. Come in, you little beauty. Let's fire again. I'm going really steep down now. That was a Well, I'm going to just take that back a little bit. The steepness of dive, I calibrated that based on the fact that they can really start firing out far, like kind of seven or eight miles if you're up high. But that's only actually true if you're with in hot engine plane, like an F-15. It seems like in an aircraft like this, where you've got very cold engines, you can actually dive down on the target. So that's a modification I'll make here um, that we can go steeper in a colder aircraft. Get that all needed speed. Right, I get the feeling I'm my luck may be up on this, but we'll give it a go. Aggressive roll, plenty pull of flares. Up, pull up. Gonna do another one. Pull up, pull up. And it paid off. And altitude, out we go. altitude. Oh, nothing to hide behind. There's nothing to hide behind. I cop this one up. Gonna glide now, gonna glide. Made it. So you can see how much skill you'd have to have to actually put bombs on target. You'd have to be really good. Um, it's a bit beyond my calibre, but that's cool. Right, so that's following all of the things that we went through. Next, uh, what we'll do is nip into tack view and just have a little look, because uh, I didn't really see, get to see what happened in all that chaos, so stand by. Okay, so let's have a snoop. Uh, that's going to be a 15. Pion, pion, pion. So that was me, that must have been, yep, yeah, right, gaining speed, okay. So, we've got TAS 570, uh, KIS uh, 550, uh, so I guess that's the minimum what we, what we would allow. Excuse me, in we go. First missile, four and a half miles, waiting, gotta wait, 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 wait until that moment, and you just know what that moment is after a while. So I can't really quantify it for you. And power down. And got the low radius barrel roll. And the flares out. Chuck them out. Missile doesn't stand a chance. Second one out. Power on. Power off. Start now. Flares out. And through. Beautiful. Um, power on, but prepare to come off power because we want to be off power and spool down before we get over this target, at which point we become essentially defenseless. We can no longer react. Okay, got some triple A, just ignore it. Okay, we're off power now. Um, I just wonder if we could see power on here. We can. It is, ba ba ba, fuel. That one there tells you our fuel rate, and it's slightly delayed from what, what my actual throttle handle is doing by about a second, two seconds, something like that. Okay, now here's the most dangerous bit. Going over here, you can't react because we can't see them below our belly. There's a missile out. And blind bloody luck that's beaten that. I don't know. 
um, why he fired that. Obviously, it's just a stupid delayed missile. And now come our flares. In fact, scratching that, those flares are a bit late. I would say start flaring when you can no longer be reactive. So we can be reactive at this point, i.e. we can see that missile coming here, but at kind of that kind of point there, we're no longer really reactive where this missile comes out here. So I'd say start the continuous egress flaring about there, where you've lost the ability to react to missiles because they're underneath your cockpit. So I'm a little bit late here. I'm off throttle, you can see fuel burns, 11,000 pounds, which is basically off throttle. And out come the flares, and we've got about 150 of them in this plane, I think, or something like that. And I don't think they fire at me again, maybe they do, so I'm as low as possible. There's another missile at me. I'm finding some terrain to hide behind. I don't think this missile is going to do much, you know, I'm a good mile away now. We'll see, maybe it is. Yeah, it's got through the buildings, somehow it got line of sight. So I make a quick adjustment, dump a load, pull up, and that's enough to fool it. I know it said it hit us there, but it didn't in reality. So even when I was out and safe, I was still checking back just to make sure that they didn't hit us. That's it. We're going to just go forward again. Up it goes. So note the nice big long egress and then the ingress. There's no good turning back in at 350 knots. You can't do this otherwise. So build the speed up. 700 TAS. That's what we want to see. Burners on, make yourself as as, as uh, easily available for missiles now. It's coming out now, about four to five miles. That's what we want, or four to five miles. Use your ammo up now. Right, so weighted to the right time. That timing is... It's not even a distance. It's about time more than a distance. It's when to fall that seeker head. Low rad barrel roll. Got ten flares out. No, it never had a chance. Uh, power on, power off. You can see the fuel burn there, uh, low rad barrel roll, get the flares out, 10 flares. This missile never had a chance. What else you got to throw at me? Speed up. Anything else? There is a missile, that's a hard one. And that's just reactive look. Um, so I'm just in the zone where I can see that coming out. Look how quick I have to react to beat this thing. Because it, we're talking about that timing, remember? Well, the timing for beating this one is basically now, as soon as it comes out. Um, and I'm just in the zone where I can be reactive. Once I got to this point here, I'll be in trouble because I can no longer see that missile. So I've just got this, and I'm, I'm not sure if I barrel roll here or not, or just flares. And flares, I just consider it too dangerous at this point to do a barrel roll. We've stitched that one, that's nice. Probably have some more come out. The good thing is, and what I, why I'm going over it again and again and again is that you can escape now at 550 knots with with the engines turned off we can escape if you were low at 300 knots you can't escape it's simply not possible i know you can with the a10 but that's got much colder engines and much more flares so run through that well, one thing i noticed is i forgot to dump flares so remember i should start dumping flares when we can no longer be reactive so that was an error oh, it's because i was busy firing look about all that time I was firing, I wasn't flaring. Very put myself in danger here. So um, I'm a little bit late with those flares. And you know, they're about to come into play. Look, because here is a missile, two missiles after me. And here's to show how this egress method can work with enough flares and with off engines. Fingers crossed, he says as he gets smacked. No, you see, it's done it. A mixture of being low enough, hiding enough, and putting those flares out. Three missiles ditched. Okay, so that's that. And as I say, it look, I've probably made it look really easy. Uh, it's not. Uh, bear in mind, it took me a full day of practicing this to work out how, how it works. And so you're going to go away and try this now and probably just get shot down about 10 times in a row. And that's how it is. That's how I was when I was figuring it out. You have to follow all of the things I've laid out perfectly with the perfect timing. And then you've got a 90% chance of survival, 95% chance of survival. So don't be discouraged if uh, you get shot down 20 times in a row. Right, I'm in, I'm 700 knots, I'm waiting, 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 now's the time. Low rad barrel roll, I've got my 10 flares out. I think I've got about 150 flares in this beast, so I've got a good 15 rolls I can do. And these guys are pretty much going to be out of missiles by now, I imagine. So we're just going to fast forward that forwards. I doubt they've got any more missiles left. Zap, 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 lasers, got him. Flares started at a good point. That's where I should be starting, when I can no longer be reactive. And I'm out of flares. 
So, um, that's it. Uh, no escape. And uh, I'm still flaring. No, I'm out of flares. Um, yeah, and I survived this, even though I've got no flares, because I reckon they're out of ammo. That's that. Let's go Harrier. Okay, Harrier. Okay, that's an A10, so that's not going to be it. Uh, where is it? Okay, that's a starting, turning. Okay. Pew, pew, pew. Something happening, there we go. So in. Got a speed, nearly 600 TAS, so that's perfect speed with the highest speed we can do. Let's get in we go. Wait for the shot, 600 TAS, beautiful. Are they going to fire this time? Can't be bothered. Okay, we've got a missile out at 1.3 miles. Wait, 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 wait. React. Low rad barrel roll. Ten flares out. Missile never has a chance. Second missile. And second barrel. Third missile. Fourth missile. Pretty cool, huh? Let's go back and watch that again. That's pretty sick. Ooh. So in half motion. First one. First barrel roll. First ten flares. See the next two coming out. Repeat barrel roll, another 10 flares. And those missiles just, with that move, you, you couldn't see a better example of how that manoeuvre fools those missiles. We just fooled, well, technically four missiles. Beautiful work. Okay, I'm cold, engines are off. No fuel burn, wherever a fuel burn is. No, it's not on there anyway, but we know it's cold. Again, a bit slow with these flares here. Hide behind a building, and that's probably going to be us done. Up we go. So we get a good distance, seven miles, bang on the money there, and uh, get our speed up. We're not being impulsive, not being emotional. Seven miles in. Let's get our task right up again. Whoops. And then we go again. You're gonna fire at me. Missile out at 1.2 miles. Wait, 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 and go. Barrel roll, left or right, doesn't matter. Ten flares out. This one never stands a chance. Off we go. Bombs out. Dig a dig a dig a dig. Bang. I started. I did the egress flares properly here. Look, I started them where we should. Where I can no longer be reactive at this point here is where I should start the egress flares. One complaint. I'm a little high, but again, I'd have to be high for bombs. So now I've got to get low, and that's more like it. Right. Let's get ready for the inevitable. And we've got the missiles, here they come from the, the man pad. So let's see it scratch, nice and low, nice and low. Let's see this flares behind a big wall of heat. Very hard to track our engines when they're so low. Oh, this doesn't look good. And it's fooled it, and... Gee, it was close, but yep. Did it, the flares did their job. Remember, off gas here, we're gliding at this point. To be honest, we wouldn't be a great deal faster even if we had gas on. We'd be maybe... 520 knots or something like that. That's just done. Rinse and repeat. What's this? Number three. Round we go. Chugga, 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 chugga. Uh, in 1.7 miles. This dude fires. Wait. And go. Barrel roll. 10 flares. Oof, that was a close one. And we we'll start our egress flares here, ideally. And I think we are. Yep, that's more like it. Low. Plenty of speed. 530 knots to glide with. Don't need our engines on. Big shield of heat now. And I've run out of flares. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't. And I'm pretty sure that's the end of it. They're probably just out of missiles or whatever by now. Uh, and that's it, really. Uh, not much more to say. Let's go and find the... Uh, what is it? A 10... Pew, pew, pew. Okay, so send him off in his way. Uh, sorry. 
Uh, there we go. Piao, piao. Right, in we go. I find it much harder with an A10 because um, I find it harder with the A10 because we just haven't got that speed to play with. Speed it up because it's a slow bird. First missile out. One and a half miles. Aggressive. Much more aggressive than the other two planes. Look at that. Really got to fool that CK. I've got to work for it. Much harder uh, uh, turns. A second because the second missile is out. Jesus, that was close. Third missile is out. Already fooled. Ignore the AAA. Start our egress. Ignore the AAA. Start our... Oh. Nice. Just the egress flares fooled that one there. So that's pretty nice. And now we are retaining some burn rate here because we've... Oh, but yes, you can see it. Fuel, 10,000 pounds. So we are burning. We are powered on still. But the flares are going to do enough. The... Uh, the, 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 the vertical stabilizers are going to do enough to shield that as uh, so this plane was designed to and we can just flare our way out hundreds of flares are using this thing so don't be conservative more missiles Jesus all these missiles got fired so it's just so one one two three one two three and a close hit four five six seven seven missiles on this first thing all successfully evaded. One, a ditch because I went low enough. Two, a ditch because I went low enough. Three, has line of sight, but the wall of flares just kills it in the end or whatever happens. Okay, that'll loop. Back in, not be lazy, go out, do our mileage. Turn back in. Here they come. One and a half miles again. Relatively higher radius barrel roll, more aggressive. Probably more than 10 flares for this bird. Because it's a bigger, longer, timed tower of barrels. It's probably 20 flares. Realistic. Gow 8. Brrr. Gow, whoever we need to do. Starting our egress flares here. That's correct. That's what I should be doing. And that is enough to fool this close range. So close range, it's harder for me to dodge these flares. But it's also harder for these guys to fire at me when I'm close range. So it's very important to have those flares. And then the egress flares. I think this is the one where I get smacked. Ah, I see the problem. I'm too low. The flares are hitting the ground. Right. So in some birds, the flare goes up. Some, the flare goes down. Some, the flare goes back. In this particular bird, these flares are hitting the ground and disappearing straight away, nullifying them. Um, oh, which is very silly. Um, so that's another lesson learned with the relevant plane be at the relevant altitude for the flares to retain. As in this plane, it's probably going to be about 200 feet or something rather than 50 feet. Lesson learned. And that's probably why I'm about to get smacked in the ass. Yeah, so this flares are doing absolutely nothing to shield me now. And I take a hit. I take two hits. Wow. But I survive. I don't know how. Well, I guess of course it's an A10. The A10, well, stop it. Okay, whatever. Someone wants me to survive, so I'm happy with that. And we're going back in again. They're probably all out of missiles at this point. Same thing on the third run. Pion, pion, pion. Gal, brr, brr. Another barrel roll. Another 20 flares out. Brr, brr. And we're out. Get the flares going. See, they're all dying. The flares are all dying again. Stupid cap. No wonder I got shot. And I imagine they're out of ammo by this time. Right, so that's it. Uh, that's showing how to do it. We've learned another lesson watching the TAC view. So adjust your altitude so that the flares retain. Otherwise, that's all I've got to say. Uh, next, we're going to go on to the reactive, non-active evasion. Okay, so reactive defense. Uh, we'll choose an F-15. It's probably going to be harder than this. We're going to go nice and slow to make it hard, ugly, difficult. Find out what our flare button is. That's right. Bring up the controls. Okay, we're on a, we're on a Caesar mission here. We're going to find our uh, friendly pilot. 
who we're going to rescue him, so we've got to go slow. That's the worst thing for um, dodging Sam, is going slow. So down to 300 knots. Terrible news. Big, heavy plane full of gas. Um, and we don't, we're going to pretend we don't know that Sam is there. It's going to shoot at us at the last minute when we're looking for our friend Jenkins. Where are you, sir? So, uh, flying along when all of a sudden, out of the corner of our eye, we see a smoke. You going to do it? No, he's not going to do it, I don't think. Doesn't feel like it. Yes, he is. Ignore that. And Sam out. Crank that flames. Throw it round right. Million flares out. Careful not to stall. Let it glide. Let it glide. Beat that. Beat that. Beat that. Let it glide. Let it glide. Trillion flares. Now we're safe on the power. Two missiles dodge. Get the hell out of here. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, I won't bother showing it in the other planes because it's just exactly the same. So like we said before, oh look, that missile literally just blew up there. <laughs> That's cool. Um, uh, it, we, if we turn into the missile, we would dodge it easier, but we put ourselves over that AO, low energy, and it's almost certain death at that point. So assuming that there would have been no other SAMs over here, then this seems to give the best results. Uh, that's all I've got. Um, that uh, reactive pull I did seemed noobish and hard, but you do actually need that hard pull to fool that missile seeker head. We're not going to have the engines hot to it, so you do need to stall yourself out, uh, especially if you're going to go in slow. Um, it's tough, you just need to do it, really. Uh, and bucket loads of flares. Uh, you just have to be liberal with the flares. There's nothing else to it. Right, that's all I've got to say about that. Um... Anything you want to add to IR missile evasion, let me know. Remember, this is SAMs only. We've already done the air-to-air -air IR missile evasion. That's, that's different. But I hope that's useful. We'll go and do some serious dodging, get shot down a few times, learn your lesson, and I'll see you later.